Welcome to A-Level and AP Physics, a place where you can improve your understanding of physics with confidence. In today's lesson, we will talk about AC and rectification from Cambridge A2 Physics. This is our fifth video on this topic. In today's class, we will explore about bridge rectifier circuit, a special case of bridge rectifier circuit when diodes are not arranged in diamond shape. For this question, a bridge rectifier circuit is given to us and there are four ideal diodes and also we can see here are four diodes and we can see how they are connected. So these are four given diodes and this is how they are connected. If you look at the shape of this arrangement, it doesn't look like a diamond. So this is not a typical shape of bridge rectifier circuit, but it is still bridge rectifier circuit. What else is given to us? An alternating power supply is connected between A and B and also the RMS value of EMF is given that is equal to 7 volts. For part A1, we simply need to circle the diodes that conduct when point B is positive with respect to point A on figure 10.1. Let's try to answer this one first of all. So to answer this question uh, is a very simple principle as it is given to us that B is positive with respect to B, uh, with respect to A. So we can just use this positive sign here. So B is positive. So when the B is positive, simply we understand if we have DC power supply like this, so current will flow from positive to negative means when this is positive current will flow in this direction so same is true here so current will flow from b to this side when it will reach at this point it has two options to go so this one is in reverse bias and this one is in forward bias so current will go this way it will not pass through this one because this is connected in reverse bias so current will pass through this one after passing through this diode when current will reach at this point again it has two options to go up or go down but if current will go down because this one is in reverse bias so r i'm using for reverse bias means when reverse bias so in this case the resistance of diode is infinite means current does not flow so the resistance is infinite we are talking about ideal diodes so again so current will flow in this direction it will pass through this resistor and after passing through current will reach at this point so again at this point current has two options it can pass through this diode or it can pass through this one but it will pass through this diode the reason is that because this diode this side is connected with positive terminal of the battery and this side is connected with negative so it means this side is a high voltage this side is low voltage current only flows from high to low not low to high so this side is low voltage so this is low alpha low so that's reason current will not flow through this diode so current will flow like this so this is how you can see how current will flow in this given setup so only diodes these two diodes will conduct so this is one diode we need to circle and the second diode is this one this will also conduct so this is our final answer for part a a1 let's move on to part a2 for part a2 simply we need to find the maximum potential difference across a resistor it also simply means that v max we can also say is equal to v peak means the maximum value of potential difference and this is equal to root of 2 times v r m s uh, in this case uh, v r m s is given to us this is value of v r m s simply we can plug in value of vrms if we just multiply this one we will get our final answer that is equal to 9.9 .9 volts so this is our final answer up to 2sf for part b potential difference is given on y-axis and time is given on x-axis 
we can also find the magnitude of ripples from here or you can simply see the magnitude of ripples you can see magnitude is big or magnitude is small from here and it is also given to us that a capacitor is connected into the circuit to produce smoothing of the potential difference across a resistor this is very important point across resistor for b1 we simply need to draw the symbol for capacitor connected so as to produce smoothing on figure 10.1 so as you can see here uh, draw the symbol for capacitor and we need to produce smoothing of the potential difference across resistor R. It simply means that our capacitor also has to be connected across resistor. Across resistor simply we need to connect capacitor. Otherwise a simple, simple way to understand this one is as this is a bridge rectifier circuit. So simply you can remember also like this as this is a bridge rectifier circuit we need to connect capacitor across load bridge rectifier circuit circuit for this one over capacitor so i will just write down here over capacitor has to be connected in parallel with load capacitor connected in parallel with load with load load in this case simply means resistor in parallel so we simply need to connect capacitor in parallel with this resistor so this is how we can connect capacitor across resistor r so it means connect capacitor parallel so capacitor in parallel so you can also understand from here capacitor has to be in parallel so this is the main concept what you need to understand Next part is B2 and for B2 simply we need to state the effect if any on the magnitude of the ripples on V when separately. It means we just make one change at a time. Very important point to understand. So the first change is we change the capacitance of capacitor. We use a larger capacitor means with larger capacitor. So what is the effect of that one? on magnitude of ripples as you can see here magnitude of ripples we can find from here in order to answer this question we need to understand one more simple concept about capacitor that is called tau means the time constant and time constant depends on resistance and capacitance if we increase the capacitance of a capacitor its time constant also increases tau is the time constant tau is the time constant so as R C increase means the capacitance increase tau will also increase so simply we will say it will discharge slowly we can also say in this case capacitor will discharge slowly discharge slowly when the capacitor will discharge slowly we can also see from here discharge slowly means that its potential difference will decrease slowly. so here you will see its potential difference maybe will be this so now if you look at the ripple the magnitude of ripples is only this much so it means if we use a large capacitors the magnitude of ripples decreases so this is our final answer this is how we can answer this one. and so simply what you need to write down is you need to simply say ripples decreases that's all what you need to write you no need to explain anything but i have also written for you this explanation because capacitor discharge slowly next part the next thing is asking us if the resistance is smaller I mean the resistance of the circuit if we decrease what is effect on time constant first of all we will see effect on time constant and then we will see the effect on magnitude of ripples so now from here we can see if we decrease if we decrease the resistance so i will rewrite this one tau is equal to rc in this case we are not changing c because it is given to us very clearly we have to take one change at a time so in this case we keep c constant now we change resistance 
in the previous case we kept resistance constant now if we decrease resistance simply we will say the time constant will decrease means the time taken for a capacitor to discharge 63 percent of its initial value are simply at this point you can simply remember is the time taken time taken will decrease it means it will discharge quickly so we will say capacitor will discharge quickly so this is it will discharge quickly discharge quickly means that its potential will even go potential difference across capacitor will even go lower than this value we can sketch something like this so you see increases so we will simply say ripples increases Ripple increases because capacitor discharge quickly. Here is our answer. This is what you need to write. For the sake of this question, you can only write down ripples increases. So if you only write this much, you will get one mark. This is.